Hello friends, I'm Akhilesh Kumar Shivasto. Uh, we are discussing about the programming of the hashing. And in the programming of the hashing on the last one, we have discussed about the division hash and mid square hash. In this, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the folding hash. So uh, the folding hash suggests that if you have uh, key values like this, let's say one, two, three, four, seven, four, three, nine, eight, eight, and you require a two digit address in the hash table for the keys, then you start making the group from the right. So two digit groups are formed from the right. And then finally you sum these groups. So for the given number, we are summing up 12 plus 34 plus 74 plus 39 and plus 88. So this gives us 8 plus 9, 17, 4, 21, 4, 25, and then 2, 27. 2, 8, 10, 3, 13, 7, 20, and 4, 27. So 247 is the sum of these groups. Out of this group, 47 is the location. So you take the modulus of this number with 100 and you will get the 47 as the answer or the location of this number in the hash table. Now for finding out this uh, uh, addresses in the hash table using the folding method, Holding is the method that we are following. You may observe that a carry can come in the end after the addition. So that is why you are taking the modulus of this with 100 if the table size is 100. Now let's say the table size is 50. So if the table, sorry, the table size is let's say 30. So when the table size is 30, in this case also you require the table, the addresses of two digits because the addresses will vary from 00 to 29 and 29 is a two digit number. But here in this case, if you are taking its modulus with 100, you are getting a 47 address, which will not be a valid address. So once you com compute the, once you've computed the uh, sum of these groups, you perform the modulus of this with the table size. So in this case, if I take the modulus of this with table size 30, then you will obtain, I think, 7. So 7 is the location of this number or this key in the hash table. So this is a simple fundamental that we have to control the addresses to remain in the limit of the table size. So let's try to code this. So this is the folding hash and in this folding hash there are two parameter passed. One is a table size and the other one is a number or the key which is to be stored in the hash table. First we try to find out how many digits are there in the table address. So if the table size is TS for example 100, we will try to find out its uh, addresses or the largest digit of the address by subtracting it from 1. So 100 minus 1 is 99. And we obtain the number of digits in up to 99, which comes out to D. Then we compute the mod. Mod value means uh, by what value I have to take the uh, by what value I have to take the modulus, because we have to extract the digits. So that's why we need to have the modulus function. We take a sum, and then. When the by the time number does not become zero, we keep on dividing it with the mod. So the concept of the mod is like uh, let's say we have the hundred as the table size. When you subtract one from this, you obtain ninety nine, and there are two digits here. So we are going to make the groups of the two digits. So for making the group of the two digits, for example, we have the number one two seven seven three six nine four two eight. And uh, you have to obtain a two digit address. So 10 square will be the value by which you will be dividing this number again and again. So when you take its modulus with 100, you will obtain 28. And when you divide it by 100, the number will be, or two digits from the right will be extracted. So this is the number you obtain. 
after dividing this number with 100. You again take its modulus with 100, you will get a 94. And then when you divide it by 100, you will get 127736. So in the similar way, you can find out the groups of the two numbers from the right. So whatever groups you are finding, you are, you are adding that to the sum every time. And then you are dividing the number by 100 or 10 raised to the power d such that the number is reduced further. By the time number is not zero, you will keep on doing so. The moment the number becomes zero, you will come out of this loop. And whatever sum you have obtained, you will take its modulus with table size and you will return that as the location of this given key in the hash table. So I hope you must have understood that this is similar to what we used to do in the sum of the digits of the number where we used to divide the uh, number repeatedly by 10. Here we are dividing the number repeatedly by 10 raised to the power d, where d is the number of digits in the address. So let's try to test this. So we are performing the folding hash. And there are two values for which we will be testing. One is 1234 with a table size 100 and 4565 five with a table size 100. So the order is changed. So we're just making a small change to the order here. First is the key and the second one is the size of the table. So we obtained 46 and 10. Let's verify if we are going to get this only. In the first one, the if we take the, the two digits part, so 1, 2 plus 3, 4 will give us 46. 46 modulus 100 will be 46. And then 45 plus 65 will give us 110. And 110 modulus 100 will be 10. So 10 is the location of this number in the hash table. So we have very well tested this using these three functions. So thanks for watching. In the next lecture, we will try to discuss about the linear probing, quadratic probing, and double hashing, the collision resolution mechanisms. So thanks for watching this video.